A Bloomington restaurant is showing a heaping serving of resilience as it reopened its doors after tragedy. Ko Tu, a Vietnamese restaurant in Bloomington, closed after a deadly shooting back in November. WCCO's Marielle Mose was there as owners welcomed back customers who helped them get back on their feet. See, today's the first day open? Mm -hmm. It was a welcome as warm as a bowl of pho. We are so happy that they reopened. It's just wonderful. When I heard they come back, I just rushed to come here right away. I didn't think they would come back this quickly, so, and I'm really glad they did. Kotu proved its strength opening its doors back up to customers less than two months after a shooting that left one customer dead and a server injured. It could be bad, though. I don't think it would be the same as it used to be. Kwang Ao intervened, trying to protect the victim who was eating lunch when another man fired bullets into the restaurant on November 23rd. In the process, he was shot above his foot and on his backside. Even though many people said that what I do is brave, um, I, I, I do feel like you should always prioritize uh, your, your, safe, your safety. He was happy to be back in his family's restaurant serving again, thankful for all of the support. There's a lot of Vietnamese restaurants in Minnesota, but uh, this is my favorite. This is my go-to. What do you think about New Look? So while they were closed, they received community donations that they put towards paying the bills as well as a renovation of the restaurant, which included reupholstered chairs, new flooring, two new TVs on the walls, and brighter paint color. It's just elegant. It looks wonderful. I'm sure that everybody that comes in here is going to notice how nice it is. Thank you. Reopening was only possible through the community's support, which was seen in every occupied Seat. It's a family. You can tell that it's a family when you come here. Don't get me. You go. In Bloomington, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. And there is still some damage from the shooting. The restaurant is still accepting community donations to help fix it.